Good morning, it's Saturday. And it is a Saturday where the bi-weekly, not monthly, I've been saying it wrong, food pantry happens. Um, I went a little bit later than normal, but I couldn't wake up this morning. I woke up at five and then I just wasn't comfortable. And then why are the chickens starting to talk at like 6.30? It's not even, there's no sun. And they're out there making some loud noises. I was like, we're gonna have chicken soup for dinner. Just kidding, I know my ladies. But for real, they need to stop at that 6.30 business. So anyways, we're here. Hi, my name's Laura. We, in my house, utilize food pantries to help with our grocery budget. We are a one income house. I have three little girls. One of them is homeschooled. The other two were little, little. Um, I don't work anymore. I used to work, in case anyone was wondering. I have two bachelors. Mahana. I have a dog named Mahana who likes to try to eat off the counter. Um, I have always worked my whole life and then when I got pregnant with my second one, we made the decision for me to stay home and then we had a surprise and there was another baby so it just makes more sense because childcare is crazy. So we use the stuff that we get to, that's usually how I meal plan. I use this stuff first. And then I go with our grocery budget and I buy whatever else we might need. That includes milks. Well, no, kind of. It depends. We also get wick. But we only are getting wick for one more month, I believe. Yeah, one more month and then we won't have that anymore. So that's how I feed us. We eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in this house. We try to eat a lot of lentils and grains, more grains than before. I did a whole thing on that. But let me show you what we got. There's the table. This is becoming a every time we go thing. These are chips from Chipotle. And he loves them. Oh, you didn't know he was in the room with me. But my husband is in the room. Um, Harmon's Asiago hamburger buns. So just a very fancy hamburger bun. As well as some very fancy hot dog buns. Some white bread, which... Always is needed here because my oldest one is a very piggy eater. She was not raised that way, but that is the path she has taken. A box of cornflakes. Um, four, eight, ten of these Belveda crunchy cookie cracker thingies. There's pumpkin spice and some kind of cranberry orange. I've never had one of those. I don't even know what they taste like. Four candy bars which the big one is already trying to get to, but I'm gonna put them away for Easter baskets. So too bad, so sad, little girl. These are cool because we have some strawberries, mini pound cakes. There's a song and it goes, I'm gonna show you how to make a pound cake. So we both looked at each other and tried not to laugh. Anyways, <laughs> um, Fig Newtons. I think the big one actually likes these and I think the middle one will like them as well. We got six red potatoes two broccolis that look like they need to be cooked very fast they don't smell bad so but they're turning a little yellow a nice big head of lettuce this is frozen but it's some fresh jalapeno salsa another big bag of apples and i have all those pie crusts and i still have apples from the last time so i'm gonna make some pie filling or something i think these are french fries yeah, they feel like crinkle cut fries. There's three bags of those and they are probably three pounds. They're huge. We seem to always get an abundance of French fries. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, again, I said last time, I'm pretty sure that this is Chick-fil-A. These are just chicken patties and these go fast in this house because everybody likes those. And they're so quick and easy to throw in for lunch. This is... 2.8 pounds of breast fillets, chickens. We have some tilapia with tequila lime. And I don't usually eat fish, but I will eat tilapia if I have it, if I have to, or if I have it. I don't love fish, but that's one I can muster. This is cool. This is a uh, home chef garlic herb butter salmon. And it looks like it has broccoli in there and mashed potatoes and some salmon. So that's perfect for a day when I need a quick lunch for the girls or if we don't have enough leftovers to throw in 
Josh, my husband's lunch. Love that. This I'm so curious to taste. It is, first of all, Tillamook. Hello, fancy brand. Jalapeno honey cream cheese. The jalapeno I'm loving. The honey I'm like, huh, that could be real good or not so good. I can't even, I'm not even going to try. It's like cream cheese, but not. But that's amazing. Love that. Now this, fancy cheeses can be real tasty or they can be real nasty. So maybe we're going to have to taste this on a video, cooking video later. Oh my gosh, $16.99 a pound. It is, let's see if I can. That's my hand is shaking. I haven't eaten any breakfast yet. I just saw him. Um, and look at that, guys. Ancient grains hummus. You know, we were all about those ancient grains a minute ago. Chickpeas. What are the ancient grains? Sorry, let me read them. Ingredients: chickpeas, quinoa, flax, chia, oats. Interesting. And sesame seeds. Huh. Oh, I love hummus. A four pack of yogurt. It has like a mixed berry and a blueberry. Always helpful, even though I can my own. Some chicken broth. I don't know what this is. Mina. Harisha spicy Moroccan red pepper sauce. Oh, do you put this on couscous? Yep. Delicious with couscous and meats and vegetables. But that's, I think I have had that before on couscous. A bag of beans and a bag of lentils. And I'm actually going to sprout some lentils for my chickens this week because we're getting a little too many lentils. So I need to do that. But there you have it. I accidentally clacked out of the video. I got a text message right when I went to turn around. So again, this is how we help our family. If you find that you are struggling, if you just don't have enough at the end of, at the, end of the day and you're having to make decisions between things, if your grocery budget is really small and you're not loving what you're feeding your family, Going to your food pantry, it's not taking away from homeless people. It's not taking away from people who have no money and who need food. Most of those kinds of people, not, I don't want to say those kinds, but people in those situations usually get food stamps. They get other benefits. There's no way... A person without a home is going to be able to utilize frozen meats. How are they going to cook them? How are they going to... Stir? That doesn't make sense. Food pantries are for people who work and still need help. Maybe you don't work, but you still need help. Maybe you maybe you get alimony. I don't know. Whatever it is. If you need help, go check it out. Don't be embarrassed. There's a hundred other cars there of people who are just like you. You deserve to eat. Everybody deserves to eat. You deserve to eat. You deserve to be confident in what you have in your fridge, in your pantry, to feed your family. And maybe, maybe this chicken saves you $10 at the store this week because now you have chicken. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. But now you can spend that other $10 towards an emergency that happens or set it aside for next week when you never know what's going to happen or buy some some stuff you're low on that you haven't had it doesn't have to just be i'm going because i have no dollars you can still have some dollars mahana mahana's gonna have no dollars or no home in a minute but she has her boots on i like them they're very cute so again you deserve to feel confident in what you're eating my sprite you deserve to eat she does not deserve that sprite well turkey i'm gonna go capture her anyways i will see you later i'm cooking tonight i don't know when this video will be posted it is the 16th and it's
it's a beautiful day. We're going to go outside and get some work done, fix the car finally. Hopefully, then they got the part. Actually, I, we had one, which was weird. But whatever. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by.